We have wrinkles on our face that are there when we're expressing using our muscles of facial expression. And we also have wrinkles on our face that are there when we're not moving or static wrinkles. The best treatment for wrinkles that are come from muscular movement or activity, um, the best treatment for that is neuromodulators. And we're again fortunate to have three different FDA approved neuromodulators to treat wrinkles on the face. Obviously the, the first and most popular is Botox. The second uh, that came out and was approved in the U.S. is Dysport. And the third most recent uh, neuromodulator is Xeomin. People want to know what are the differences between those modulators. Um, again, Botox is very popular. They've done a very good job at publicizing it. So most patients who come in for neuromodulators ask us, uh, Dr. Persky, I'm here for my Botox treatment. Please give me that. Um, Dysport has been used for years in, in Europe, and it's a neuromodulator that's a little bit different. It has a protein code on it um, that's a little bit different, and um, it also uh, seems to spread a little bit better. It, it kicks in a little bit quicker, and uh, in terms of how long it lasts, it lasts about the same. So in certain areas, we like to use Dysport. Other areas, we use Botox. So what's the difference between those two and Xeomin? Xeomin is a, also a, a great neuromodulator product. It's the equivalent of Botox. Uh, we use it similarly. It's a little bit less expensive, so patients who are looking to save a few dollars here or there um, appreciate having Xeomin. As far as how long they last, they all last about the same. Uh, they all feel about the same going in, and they're all very safe and uh, effective products. 